All right, in this video, you are going to be able to multiply and divide real numbers. In the last video, we talked about adding and subtracting. So we're going to finish off this week with multiplying and dividing. Now, when you're looking at problems that just involve two numbers, the rules are pretty simple. If you're multiplying numbers with different signs, one positive, one negative, then the answer is always negative. If you're multiplying numbers with the same sign, then the answer is always positive. That's the rule for multiplying numbers with different and same signs, and it's the same when you divide. If you divide two numbers and the signs are different, your answer will always be negative. And if you divide two numbers with the same sign, your answer will always be positive. So let's take it a couple take a look at a couple problems and practice that. Right here are a couple of problems that involve multiplying numbers. In the first example, you can see the signs are different. So before you even try to multiply the numbers, you know that a positive times a negative will give you a negative answer. So usually what I do is I just figure out what my answer is going to be first, whether it's going to be positive or negative, and then I multiply the numbers. 12 times 8 is 96. In the second example, both of them are positive, so you know the signs are the same. The answer is going to be positive. Then you multiply 24 times 0.5, or half of 24, is just 12. All right, you try C and D all by yourself. Okay, hopefully you got those correct. You notice in the first, oops, you notice that in this example C, Negative 4 and negative 6, they're both the same sign, so the answer is going to be positive. 4 times 6 is 24. In D, the two numbers are different signs. The answer is going to be negative. 7 times 3 is 21. And that's how you multiply two numbers with same signs and different signs. And it's the same with division, so let's take a look at a couple of division problems. In this first example, example A, you have two numbers. One is positive, one is negative, so you know your answer is going to be negative. 12 divided by 4 is 3, so your answer is negative 3. In part B, both answers are positive, so your answer will be positive. 14 divided by 2 is 7, positive 7. All right, you try C and D all by yourself. Okay, hopefully you got those correct. Both of the numbers in C are negative, and even though they're both negative, because the signs are the same, the answer will be positive. 4 divided by 2 is 2, positive 2. In D, the two numbers are different signs. One's positive, one's negative. That makes the answer negative. 18 divided by 3 is 6, so your answer is negative 6. All right, one last little point to make in this lesson and that is about square roots. Remember that in a previous lesson we talked about square roots. The square root of a number is the answer to what number multiplied by itself gives you 25, and that is 5. It's not possible to take the square root of a negative number because there's no number multiplied by itself that equals a negative answer. So for now that's not possible but it is possible to find the square root of a number and get a negative answer if you ask for a negative answer. So this is just an example of a problem that asks you what the negative square root of 25 is, and it's just negative square root of 25 is 5. This problem, this symbol means plus or minus, so if they ask you what the answer to a square root is and they want the plus or minus, you just give a plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2, Square root of 49 is 7. Your answer is plus or minus 2 over 7.